Running a, a sneaker store has been one of our dreams since, since I was 19, 18, since I started working at, at Foot Locker. Um, and through my travels, through my dancing career, you know, shoes and fashion was kind of a part of me, a part of the style that you need. It's a part of your, your idea, your signature to be an individual. Oh, stock. This is when we see a lot of stock coming in yeah, Friday, um, Friday morning. Well, that's a funny thing, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's like sneakers, especially the limited edition one, they have release dates. It, yeah, when it gets to really limited exclusive drop, it gets pretty intense because we have to think about whether we do a raffle or we do a lineup. We get kids camping out outside the store and we try not to encourage that. Um, so that's why we, we started doing raffle now, just come, kind of get, give everyone an equal cho um, chance. And now we also have resellers making money out of reselling shoes. You buy a full uh, retail price and resell double the price or triple the price if they're really exclusive. A good example is the Kanye West Yeezy um, boost just releasing this weekend. And you know, you're on eBay, they've already gone up to $2,000, $3,000. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> So we have strong crew members in our, in our team. We have Chloe, um, Seto, Kip and Tiffany. And each crew member has their own strengths. And together we're kind of like a big Voltron robots combined into one, into mega giant, like a Power Rangers, you know, when they combine. Like incredible force. Everyone's good at what they do. Um, everyone has their own personal taste and everyone likes to style differently. Um, and when we make decisions, it's really, really important to get that sort of wide, diverse uh, opinions. I get a lot of guys coming in and, and asking for advice on how to start a store. And there's no secret. I give them all my tools. Like, hey, if you want to see my plan, this is my sketches and this is this 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 i'll give it all to you so you have a kind of like a a big idea of what you want to be specifically and put a time frame on it like hey when i'm 30 i want to be able to change the whole fashion scene in the world or something like that something crazy because there's no limit um you know steve jobs he didn't just go hey i want to make an ipod or i want to make this you know gadget he said i want to change the world so i think that was kind of like kept me um, going is like, hey, you know, you know, the only failure is not dreaming big enough. I love fixing glass. I measure it with great precision. 